actually surprised I haven't done a video about this before, and maybe I just need to search more and find it, because maybe I have, I have a terrible memory. I guess I also don't do much iOS enrollment outside of Apple Business Manager these days, because I usually don't recommend that you enroll a personal device into Intune. You should just use app protection instead, but hey, I'm not here to judge. Uh, yeah, well, web, en web enrollment, right? So the process of enrolling a personal device to Intune is already not that bad. People just need to download the company portal from the App Store and log in and follow some instructions. But there's now, or at least as of a couple of years ago, there's a, another way called web enrollment. And that's where you just need to visit a website and enroll directly from there. I thought we'd try it out, configure it, see how it goes. Let's go. So from the Intune Admin Center, we will get my mouse on the screen and configure some things. So there's a, a, a couple of things we first need to do. You obviously need to be able to enroll Intune devices, iOS devices to Intune. So you need the licensing and you need the APNS cert and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go into that. You just need that. So I've already got that, which is good. I'm going to go into devices, down to iOS and iPadOS. And we're not even going to go into the enrollment bit yet. We're going to go to configuration because I need to enable web enrollment. And actually, I already have this. and It was created a few months ago, actually. So I must have been testing it or recording a video or whatever I was doing. So here we have enable just-in-time registration. And the things we need to configure within it are this one here. So we have the SSO app extension type is Microsoft Enter ID, and we need the key device underscore registration, which is a string, and the value is just device registration with these curly braces surrounding it. And then we also need browser SSO interaction with some underscores. Oh, enabled, and that's an integer set to one. So we've got that. We also have the single sign-on thing that appears up here when you configure that, I, there's nothing to actually set in that. So that's the configuration profile deployed to all users. It's important that it's deployed to users. Um, what else? Uh, enrollment. So we'll go into the enrollment section next. So down to iOS, down to enrollment, and we need an enrollment type. And we're going to create that now. So iOS, iPadOS, iOS web enrollment and uh, next we have a choice of web-based device enrollment, account driven user enrollment, device enrollment with company portal and determined based on user choice. I'll choose web-based device enrollment and choose next and then we're going to add all users and choose next. And the reason I've chosen all users is because I want all of my users to be able to do this. I don't recommend that you do that unless you actually want to do that. It's best if you make sure you have the right groups of people that you want to be able to enroll iOS devices. In my case, this is a lab. This is a demonstration. I'm using all users for that reason. If you want to use a group, use a group. It doesn't need to be deployed to all users. So I'll choose create. And that is done. That was pretty painless. Now, we do need to direct the users to a website on their device, which is not enrolled, in order for them to enroll. The previous instructions for Company Portal would have been download the Company Portal, but we don't need them to do that anymore. So we can just tell them to go to a website. One way of doing that would be to send them an email, but maybe they haven't got email configured yet. So we have to get them to a website. So I'm going to um, share my phone screen in a few seconds and we'll uh, type that URL and get the device enrolled. Okay, so here we are with my, with my phone. I need to make sure that we've got the Authenticator app installed. That's one of the requirements. It's... Um, it's a good idea for users to have the Authenticator app on their phone anyway, because they're going to need it for multi-factor authentication. But yes, they need the Authenticator app. I do have it installed, actually, if I just type Authenticator, there it is. Now, it doesn't need to be logged into, actually, but it, it probably will be logged in, but it doesn't need to be logged into in order for it to work. It's just the bit that gives 
the single sign-on extension capability. Okay, so we're going to head to a URL. And the URL is, I'll put it in the description, but we're going to type it now. Um, it is portal.manage.microsoft.com slash enrollment slash web enrollment slash iOS. That looks about right to me. So, in fact, I'll just put HTTPS at the start of that and go for that. Now we need to sign in. So, very simple. The user obviously needs to authenticate in order to enroll their device. So, I'm just going to sign in. And uh, it says, hi, set up your device. Now, there will be uh, probably authentication prompt if the user hasn't already logged in to the, this identity on this device but maybe they have in which case it uh, it does single sign on just like you saw there now it says we're going to download a file containing security settings install the file and then confirm that the device is compliant so let's go ahead and choose that get started button right so it's trying to download a configuration profile do you want to allow this we'll say yes or allow <laughs> it'll Download it to the settings app. So we head to the settings app. And now we have profile downloaded just here. So I'll choose profile downloaded and no profiles are currently installed, which is good. And we'll choose install on this button here. Type in the passcode. Choose install. And it says installing the certificate Microsoft Intune root CA. Okay, hopefully users understand what that means. We'll choose install and we'll choose trust. And it says it's done. So now, as you can see, it's just popped up saying, do you want last coffee? The organization we just enrolled it to, to take control or take management of Microsoft Authenticator, your app data will become managed. Let's choose Manage. Uh, the same with Teams, the same with Firefox, and Outlook. Any more? No? Okay. But you can see we've got a mobile device management uh, entry here for a management profile, and we have the ability to remove it because it's a personal device. That makes sense. But it generally is now an enrolled device. So when I head to the company portal website, which I will do in just a moment, we should see the device is in our list. Look at the devices in the company portal. And there is Dean's iPhone. That's the iPhone that we're currently using. And it is compliant. I mean, it's compliant because I haven't got a compliance policy and the default will be set to uh, to be compliant if there's no compliance policy already but you can see it's enrolled which was the point of this demonstration so there seemed to work